Good morning, amazing learners. You're welcome to today's section of our online class. And on civic education, today we'll be looking at the topic basic qualifications for election in Nigeria. All right, let's do a recap of what election is all about. If you remember, I told us that election is the process of voting or choosing a candidate to occupy a political position or to represent the citizens of a particular country. I also talked about the type of election we have. I made mention of direct election, we have indirect election, we have by-election, we have electoral college, we have referendum, we also have the primary election, which we discussed on what those types of elections are all about. So today we'll be looking into full details and basic qualifications of election in Nigeria. What are those necessary things citizens need to have or they need to do before voting or before contesting for an electoral position? Now let's look at the board. Every country has some laid down condition which a person must fulfill before qualifying for an election. In Nigeria, there are basic qualifications a person must have before qualifying for election. And we have those qualifications laid down. The first one says he or she must register with the Independent National Electoral Commission which is the INEC. Now, before anyone can contest or vote in an election, he or she must register with the Independent National Electoral Commission, which is the INEC. Now, we all know that INEC is the body in charge of registering voters for election and also conducting the election in our country. So, for before anyone can contest for any electoral position, or any political position, or even cast a vote during an election, he or she must register with the Independent National Electoral Commission and must get his or her voters card before voting during an election and before contesting for any electoral position. All right, let's look at the second. Point. It says he or she must be a legal citizen of Nigeria. Now, before anyone can qualify to contest for any electoral position in Nigeria, he or she must be a legal citizen of Nigeria. That is, he or she must be born in Nigeria and must have a birth certificate to show that he is a citizen. And must also have what the national identification card to show that he or she is a legal citizen of Nigeria. All right, the third point says he or she must have sound legal records. Now, what is this all about? It means that legally, he or she must be sound. In the sense that the person is not a criminal or never had a criminal um, case, or the person is not an ex-convict. Before you can be able to qualify to, for, um, to contest in an electoral to contest for a political position in this country, you must not be an ex-convict. You must not be involved in any criminal case. So this for this is part of the qualification before they can now ask them, accept that you want to contest for any political position. All right, the fourth point says a voter must be 18 years and above before he or she can qualify to vote. Why an election candidate must be up to 40 years before he or she can contest for a political position. Now, it's important to note that children cannot just go to a polling unit or say they want to register to vote in Nigeria. You must be 18 years and above. Alright? Remember in our last class, I told us that voting or Choosing a leader, you have to be matured mentally because you've looked at what is happening in your country. So you'll be able to be, you'll be matured to know what is happening in your country and you know the right leaders to choose. So that is why you have to be 18, from 18 years and above. As long as you're that age, you can be able to register, get your voter's card, and then go and vote for the leader of your choice. And then for those who want to contest for any political position, he or she has to be 40 years and above. Once you've not gotten to that age, you're not permitted or you're not free to do what? Contest for any political position. Once you've attained the age of 40 years and above, you are free to contest for such political position. All right, let's look at the last point. It says he or she must have 
a specific religion that must be known in Nigeria. Now in Nigeria, in Nigeria we have three main types of religion that everyone is aware of. We have the Christianity, Islamic, and traditional religion. So anyone who wants to contest for any political position in this country must have specific religion. Is it that he is a Christian or a Muslim or a traditional worshiper? So if he is not part of those types of religion or those examples of religion, he cannot contest because those are the only religion that is well known in Nigeria. So for you to contest for any political position or one of the basic qualifications for electoral position or election in Nigeria is that he or she must have a specific religion that is known in Nigeria. All right, let's look at the importance of election in Nigeria. Number one says election provides a way for citizens to choose their leaders. Now, leaders don't just come up or people don't just start ruling a particular set of people or um, cities of a country. They don't start ruling the country just like that. People are, or citizens have been given the opportunity to choose their leaders. So elections makes that very much possible. So whenever an election is happening, you know that it is time for the citizens to choose who will rule them or who will lead them. So the first one it says it provides a way for citizens to choose their leaders. That means it provides a way for the citizens to exercise their rights to vote. If you can remember, one of the rights of citizens of a country is the right to vote, a right to be voted for. So this is the citizens exercising their rights, which is the opportunity for them to choose the leaders that will rule them. All right, the second point says, it is used to measure public opinion. Now, after voting, once they start counting the votes, you find out that the highest number of votes or the person who has the highest number of votes wins the election. Now, this is the opportunity to measure the public opinion, the citizens' opinion. This is to know who they want to, who they want to be their leader or who they have decided to rule them. So election is an opportunity for them to for the electoral commission or the election body to know who the citizens of a country has decided to rule them or to take them to the next level of their lives. All right, the third point says, it is used to test the popularity of leaders. Now, before the election started, when they were doing campaign, you find that there are different set of persons coming out to um, campaign, I want to be, I, I want you to vote me as the president, we have so many of them. And if you, if you watch very well, you find out that there were even people that came up that we've never heard their names, we've never seen them before, it was just because of the election, we're getting to find out that those kind of persons are in our country. So election is used to test the popularity of participants. In, through election, you can be able to know the kind of persons that we have that are contesting for a particular position. And so, when the election is done, the person who has the highest number of votes that gets to win, you find out that maybe the person was the person is very popular. The mass, the citizens, they know he or she very well. All right, let's look at the last point. It says it gives room for different political parties to participate. Now, let's take it back to the last election. You will find out that different parties. We are participating in this political and uh, in this election. Parties like APC, PDP, AA, different parties, name it. So election gives room for different parties to participate. They don't leave it for a particular set of persons. Because one party cannot just rule the whole country or they cannot just bring out leaders from one particular party. And then if you find out that, you find out if, if you look very well, you find out that. In different states of Nigeria, we have different political parties that emerge as the leaders. Alright, so this is what election does. This is one of the importance of elections. Different political parties, even a political party that was formed yesterday, can participate in an election as long as he or she meets the required condition or the required um, qualifications. Alright, so this is one of the importance of election. It says it gives room for different political parties to participate. Okay, so let's, we've come to the end of today's class. Let's 
take a look at what we've treated, the basic qualifications for election in Nigeria, and I said, and I said he or she must register with the Independent National Electoral Commission. He or she must be a legal citizen. He or she must have sound legal records. And the voter must be 18 years and above before he or she can vote. While, while an election candidate must be up to 40 years before he can contest for the political position. He also said he or she must have specific religion that must be known in Nigeria. Then we also looked at the importance of election. And I said election provides a way for citizens to choose their leaders. It is used to measure public opinions. It is used to test popularity of leaders and it gives room for different political parties to participate. Now we've come to the end of today's lesson. Please make sure you address your questions if you have any. And when you come to school on Tuesday, I'll be there to answer your questions. Do have a lovely day. God bless you.